Welcome to another news update with Smack Weekly. Here's what you need to know this week. Marriott CEO Arne Sørensen has died at the age of 62. The chief executive who oversaw Merit International's global expansion and transformed it into one of the world's largest hotel groups had continued to work after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2019. He was only Marriott's third CEO in the history of the company and the first without the last name Marriott. Accora launches All Connect. Accor announced it is collaborating with Microsoft to launch All Connect, a new hybrid meetings concept supported by Microsoft Teams. This new concept will enable guests around the world to adapt to the new ways of working that are expected to be an enduring legacy of the COVID-19 pandemic. Google has been fined 1.1 million euros for deceptive hotel ratings in France. In 2019, complaints from hoteliers prompted France's Directorate General for Competition, Consumption and the Repression of Fraud to launch an investigation into Google's rating practices in its search engine and in Google Maps. In a news release, the agency says its investigation found Google had replaced the official French classification with ones based on its own criteria. The Expedia Group has released their trends and predictions for the year 2021. The Expedia Group has released its 2021 Travel Trends report highlighting the critical role travel will play in bringing people together following nearly a year of relative isolation. Key findings from Expedia's 2021 Travel Trends report include... Almost half of the respondents are more likely to travel when a COVID-19 vaccine is widely available. 42% said recent news regarding the vaccine made them more hopeful about travel or even drove them to booking an upcoming trip. 44% will make more trips in 2021 than in 2020, with the younger generations traveling the most overall. And lastly, more than one in three respondents said their next trip will be a week or longer. The UK is ramping up travel restrictions with quarantine hotels. From next week on, Britain will require passengers arriving from countries where worrying coronavirus variants are spreading to pay for 10 days of quarantine in hotels, while rule breakers will face heavy fines or even jail terms. That's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. 